hello again. Uh, no need to. By now you should know. Uh, I'm sorry for the mic that it's really noisy, and uh, sorry for my voice. I'm still. Uh, this is the third video I upload today, and I still have a cold. But I have a brand new can of tea and a brand new uh, download of Blender. So this is downloaded today, and we uh, lightning uh, light probes are in. So yeah, uh, let's address that. Um, should probably call them light probes now instead of reflection probes, and I think that's okay. Light probe is a different thing. I've also seen like uh, light probes uh, in game engines to kind of just light up the diffuse. Uh, it has to do something with like ambient occlusion. No, not ambient occlusion. More like global illumination. How to fake that? So and usually it's like um, what I've seen. It's like grid based. You have tons and tons of probes. Like one object can have uh, uh, five by five by five. Uh, uh, like a volume or a cube of um, probes that um, yeah it's kind of like gets things to, to look like there's global illumination even though it's not real global illumination uh, but anyway let's call them light probes um, and what they do is um, like in the old video I had with the share and the metallic thing that a light probe should probably have fixed that so here they are light probes boom boom uh okay that uh, as you can see with the outer light probe there is no like reflection in this metallic monkey from this um, plastic sphere so if i add one you can see the reflection turns up uh, but i don't know why it's freaking out so much when i'm dragging it up um there are some settings we can um, display the like the clipping I don't think that's uh, so important but uh, this one seems really nice it's the radius the influ influence radius so what I think is like for this kind of scene you should uh, you only have like one large one and then add a couple of small ones where it's needed um, and I'm guessing why why the if I hide oh you can't hide it but if I delete it you see why it uh, got some uh, oh okay maybe it's yeah 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 it's starting to reflect the floor that's why it got so much brighter and that's why in my old scene with the shares uh, it should have probably been helpful much more helpful um, I actually seen somebody mention that you should can put the like light probes um, inside objects if they're if you're gonna animate them, um, but then you should um, turn on backface culling and uh, that's not available so far in my builds at least, but maybe in the future. Uh, so yeah, um, no, uh, that's not. Uh, Unreal light, not reflection probes. They call different a uh, different thing in Unreal Reflection Capture Actor. Um, but you can read um, basically here about the um, ID behind them. And uh, this is basically uh, how I'm gonna use them for now until I there's documentation. So you have one large one that kind of captured the entire uh, scene or uh, yeah, panorama or whatever you're doing. But it should kind of like um, span this entire thing. Um, and then you can add smaller like uh, medium size yeah, individual rooms. This is based for a level. And uh, even smaller one, smaller ones at the uh, places where there's like um, high high details that you want to get reflected so yeah that's pretty amazing uh, especially if you're gonna build something like this like a smaller scene but even without them I think like just to reflect this um, uh, environment texture it's 
pretty uh, pretty amazing so far. So, yeah, should probably call them light probes since it's been renamed. Um, you can get uh, oh, you can download uh, these builds yourself at uh, builder.blender.org. Just get uh, whatever operating system you're running. Yeah. So there's a couple of cool videos with um, uh, with these light probes. Uh, it's laggy as hell. This one is really amazing with the uh, iPhone. Just rendering. Ah, it's laggy. Oh, it's laggy because I'm uploading also. Somebody explaining why it's called light probe because it's actually. Um, um, uh, yeah, the <laughs> reflections are light basically, but people are getting uh, excited uh, and kind of confused about maybe uh, having light bake. And um, so here's the light probe in uh, in Unreal. As you can see, it's really big. It's encapsulating this entire scene. So if I add more lights there, like just point lights everywhere and play, it's going to say you have to rebuild it because there's more lighting. Mm -hmm. So you can go and uh, build lightning only. So people are talking about having something like this, light baking or light processing. Um, but I think it's kind of overkill for the viewport. It could be cool to have, but um, then it should be it should be something that the user really enables and probably something that you can turn on and off and by default off because um, as you can see light building can take uh, some time usually it doesn't take this long um, usually it's just a couple of seconds but I don't know why it's freaking out now maybe I'll place one of the lights weirdly so yeah, if we ever gonna get this in Blender, it should be turned off by default. And uh, uh, as a user, user, you should, I think, be the one that's like um, take the decision. Like, yeah, I want to build all the lights because I'm gonna do some fancy animation, or maybe in the future we're gonna have a Blender game engine that has this feature. So now it's baked. Oh, it's coding textures. Whoops, holy shit, sorry for that. But as you can see now, the it has baked them. Um, I'm guessing it's like... Anyway, that's gonna be kind of... Uh, kind of overkill, but... Why not? If somebody can en uh, enable it in Bender, it would be cool. But so far, the only news in in 2.8 as I see is the light probes there's yeah this icon is new that's looks kind of cool um, probably gonna have a new icon for this one though and um, probably a new icon here also I don't think it's gonna be this like new new sign um, I was googling about screen space reflection because somebody mentioned that it should be in um, should also be implemented in blender i found this from uh, dice here in stockholm which is kind of cool it explains how the um, yeah the screen space reflection works uh, a lot of like explanation um, So BRDF, that sounds familiar, sounds something like that's in cycle, maybe it's BD, uh, what's it called, like actually check. I change to cycles. BSDF. Oh yeah, um, so it's not exactly the same. I think BD, uh, BRDF, is it bidirectional reflection? Something, something. 
Um, but anyway, somebody mentioned that this like screen space reflection might come to EV, and that would be really cool because it seems like it's um, uh, not part tracing, ray tracing maybe, but it, it does this like simple reflection and uh, then it overlays it over the um, uh, like the OpenGL uh, direct lighting so I guess this this is just direct lighting and uh, now it's they have a screen space reflection and um, uh, this is some other I don't even know fallback brightens everything up but this is like the um, I guess this uh, the image the overlay on the uh, direct lighting to get um, this one so that could be cool if you go from this like in <laughs> EV to that and I guess we're it's uh, on uh, on its way here the yeah ray tracing the I guess some kind of flow chart but I've seen somewhere else that uh, they do like simple ray tracing, a couple of rays, it's really noisy. Then they use a couple of, I guess it was mentioned earlier, some kind of algorithm to blur and mix it out to get away the uh, noisy image. And then just uh, add it on top of the direct lighting in the OpenGL viewport. Anyway, that's all above my head. I don't know where it's going in Blender, but it's so far it's looking good yep that's the only new thing in EV so far I've seen um, I will do uh, another update probably next uh, week or the week after if something something else turns up but this time the big thing was these light probes and they actually do look amazing compared this to that so as you can see it's just reflecting the environment texture but this is actually enough if you I'm guessing if you're doing like um, uh, a character of game props then you just need this reflection to ma make the material look good and uh, then you can throw it in a scene or zoo file or whatever you have uh, with the rest of the stuff you're doing and uh, add a couple of light probes and you get this real time reflections so yeah that's it thank you